Welcome to another video in our Yink software tutorial series. In this video, we'll explore the super nesting function, one of the core features and key selling points of Yink software. By the end of this tutorial, you'll know how to optimize your materials efficiently to minimize waste and maximize cutting efficiency. Let's dive in. The super nesting function not only arranges your selected data automatically on the canvas, but it also optimizes material usage to its fullest, avoiding any waste. This is typically the final and essential step before cutting. By default, the canvas contains the complete vehicle data, and you can perform super nesting directly. However, you can customize the process based on your specific needs. Here, we'll demonstrate the steps for performing super nesting on the data before cutting. Start by moving the data individually onto the canvas. Once you've done that, Select all the data and click the Refresh function. Then, select the data you want to super nest again and click the Super Nesting function. In the Time option, specify the execution time for super nesting in seconds. The longer the time, the better the layout and material optimization will be. The Spacing option represents the minimum material gap after super nesting. A value of 2 represents a 2 mini runner gap. When first using the software, we recommend increasing the spacing. Spacing relates to your plotter's cutting precision. If the precision is too low and the spacing is too small, the cutting process may cause the materials to stick together. You can gradually adjust it based on the actual precision of your plotter. The nesting width is generally recommended to be set to 14 or 90 mm steerer. Next, you'll find two options. Unlimit. This option allows full-length nesting across the entire canvas. Nesting length allows nesting based on a set length. This option is useful in scenarios like 1. When you have only 3,500 millibers of material left. You can set this length for nesting, ensuring maximum utilization of the remaining material. 2. When your plotter performance is weak, cutting too long can cause misalignment. By segmenting the layout, each optimized section can be cut separately, preventing material waste due to machine issues. You can choose based on your cutter's capabilities. In this case, we'll select nesting length. Next is the angle allowed for rotation during super nesting. Note that if you are cutting automotive window film, choose the 180 degree option due to the material's stretching properties. Otherwise, you can choose the any option. Once these settings are complete, Click Start and wait for the super nesting process to finish. You'll see that the previously scattered data outside the canvas is now neatly arranged within it, with the material deeply optimized. Since we set nesting length, you'll see it divided into approximately two sections. At this point, you can move out any data you don't wish to cut from the canvas and directly use the cutting function to start cutting the remaining sections. Congratulations! You've successfully learned how to use the super nesting function effectively. Be sure to check out our other tutorials for more insights and advanced techniques with Yank software.